Today I'll be comparing the iPhone 11 Pro Max smartphone camera to the Lumix GH5, a semi-professional interchangeable lens camera. Enjoy! Let's first take a look at the price difference. The GH5 plus 10-25mm f1.7 lens costs about 3 times as much as the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Both cameras are capable of shooting 4K at up to 60 frames per second. The GH5 shoots slow motion videos in HD resolution at up to 100 frames per second, while the iPhone 11 Pro Max can go up to 240 frames per second. Let's test out all of the modes and see which camera performs better. As always, to make it a little more interesting, I won't be revealing which camera switch up until the very end of the video, so that you can decide which camera you like most. Which camera did you prefer? Now, before I go ahead and reveal the results, leave a comment below with your guess. And don't cheat, I can actually see it if you do. This is a skill I have acquired over the years of my long career. A skill that will make me a nightmare for people like you. I will not look for you, and I will not pursue you. But if you cheat, I will look for you. I will find you, and I will f Okay, back to the comparison. Camera A was the iPhone 11 Pro Max, and camera B was the Lumix GH5 and Leica 10-25mm f1.7 lens. Did you make the right guess? The iPhone 11 Pro Max did a really good job actually, and if you compare both cameras in size, the smartphone is of course a lot smaller and therefore easier to carry around. 
Having such a tiny camera with you all the time that can capture such high quality videos is honestly something that I never thought would be possible. But what does that mean for the Lumix GH5? If cameras like the iPhone 11 Pro Max can capture such high quality footage, why would you even bother and buy such an expensive camera and carry it around with you all the time? Most people that don't work in the filmmaking business probably won't even notice the difference if you don't tell them. And if a smartphone camera is all you need to tell a good story, why would you need an expensive camera rig at all? Well, because it allows you to be more creative, at least for now. An interchangeable lens camera offers so many options. Each lens has its own characteristics, field of view and other benefits. There are smartphone lens adapters too, but these are mostly gimmicks in my opinion because they often have an impact on image quality and just don't offer the same level of flexibility. Cameras like the GH5 usually also offer a lot higher quality codecs, which makes color grading a lot easier and introduces less artifacts. Bigger sensors usually mean better low light performance too. Although the sensor in the GH5 is only a micro four third sensor, it is still bigger than the one in the iPhone 11 Pro Max and will therefore give you better low light performance. The GH5 and many other cameras in that price segment will also allow you to record a backup on a second SD card in case something goes wrong with the other one. And these are things that are absolutely necessary in a professional environment. Still, we've come a very long way with smartphone cameras and I honestly can't wait to see when or if they'll replace cameras like the GH5. Will Micro Four Thirds survive? Is the gap between these systems big enough for Micro Four Thirds to be worth it over a smartphone camera? I have no idea. But if manufacturers fail to innovate and introduce new features on interchangeable lens cameras and the consumer or semi-professional segment, smartphones might actually replace them in the long run because they're a lot easier to use and just work straight out of the box. You point your camera on the subject, tap on record and that's it. You can't really mess up exposure or white balance unless the automatic system in the smartphone camera does. And as smartphone cameras get better and better, these issues start to disappear entirely. I don't think that smartphones will replace professional cinema grade cameras though, because these often offer additional features that make them easier to use in a professional environment. Things like time codes, built-in ND filters, XLR inputs for better audio capture and so on make them the perfect match for Hollywood films. But for everything else, a smartphone might actually be everything you'll need in the future. But that's it for this video. I hope this video was helpful for you, at least entertaining. If you liked it, then why don't you go ahead and subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss out on future videos. Things like that really help in growing the channel. And yeah, that's highly appreciated. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.